Well, John. Hello, Oliver. You were recently at a public meeting in Navan. Um, I think it was, it was in the last week, was it? I was at a public meeting uh, yesterday, Saturday, um, in Navan, which started at 1 o'clock in the day. That is the 29th, I think, of, no, of September at 1 o'clock. And this meeting was um, about law and order in Mead. A very timely discussion and a public meeting. It was addressed by Pater Tobin, a, a, a TD and member of the Dáil for uh, the past uh, 12 years or so and a marvellous, uh, um, he has a new party called Aim2 and a marvellous example of committed genuine concern uh, for people's concerns in the local, in the lo in the county of Mead and particularly in Navan. He was also joined by Emer Tobin, which is a sister, a married sister. Um, I haven't got her married name to hand, uh, but she spoke first. And then a lady who was introduced, I'm not sure if her surname was introduced, but uh, she was introduced. So there was three speakers. Mm -hmm. And what, what, what were they talking about? I mean, it... Well, now, what they were talking about really was as far as... Uh, uh, the people that were gathered there, and they got many a clap, uh, was the was the breakdown uh, and the realization that Mead is the least policed county in Ireland. One of the important things that occurred about that is that the headquarters, the divisional headquarters, are uh, situated in Navan uh, for a population in Mead of two hundred thousand and a population of going near 50,000 in Navan, uh, it's been transferred to Westmead, perhaps to Mullingar, with a population of, in Westmead of 80,000. So numerically it doesn't make sense, and Pater Tobin spoke about this as an example of the lack of effort uh, by the government and particularly the three ministers from this government based in Mead and who have appeared to do nothing. Uh, now, uh, he said uh, also, by the way, before that, uh, a young mother with children spoke and told about a neighbour with four children and a fifth baby added to the family. She left her home to take the children for a, uh, for a walk. A good mother and a, a hard working husband. She went for a walk during that nice sunny period we had recently. And um, she was gone for perhaps an hour, an hour and a half. Because you, 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 you need to give children a bit of fresh air. Um, now, when she came back to her home, she had locked it. It had been burgled. Money that she had had been stolen, but not alone her money, but the children's piggy bank money. And also mementos relating to the family as they had been established. Uh, and even subsequent other items that uh, she has missed. The Gardaí were sympathetic uh, but as regards uh, doing anything about the culprits that caused this, nothing. Uh, it's, it's an event that's occurring frequently in people's homes as they leave their home. Uh, so that is a situation for hard-working families who are paying their way and haven't got the protection that they need. For example, in Johnstown, which is situated a big suburb of Navan, there are upwards of 10,000 people living, and that's increasing because there are more homes being built there as we speak. 
so it's more than likely to be about 12,000, maybe 13 to 14,000. There is no police station there, there is no facilities by way of a playground or community centre for people to be able to sort of uh, deal with issues as they arise. So these people are neglected and uh, it seems uh, that the policies uh, in the government of the government in need is to ignore the problems that exist. Uh, people express the view that what is their property tax supposed to achieve that they're paying in their homes? What is the various other taxes that they're paying because they're not getting the service that these taxes should demand? Also, it was highlighted that a town the size of Navan is one of the few places that hasn't got a train service, even though all the infrastructure was put in place by the previous Fianna Fáil government, but never operated by the uh, present government. When was when was was it put in place? It was put uh, the all the infrastructure, the tracks and the, and the infrastructure as a gas station were put in place uh, prior to two thousand eleven, when Fianna Fáil were destroyed in that general election. And nothing has happened since. Uh, no, there has been no. Uh, there has been an increase in the bus uh, service from Navan every twenty minutes, but really. Uh, the traffic on uh, the, M, the M3 uh, from about 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning is massive. Uh, so that uh, there are too many cars using that that wouldn't otherwise use it if there was a train service in Navan and adequate parking. Uh, so a train service would be a very necessary uh, um, something to happen in Navan, uh, for, for, not alone for me, but for people that come from Cavan, because some of them uh, have to uh, work in Dublin, uh, so they're driving long distances, and this is inter interfering with family life and also the amount of traffic on the, on the road. Uh, so uh, common sense and prudence dictates that that railway station should be opened. Uh, Pater Tobin highlighted that and intends to agitate very seriously about it. Now, um, also in Mead and in Navan, uh, there is an upsurge of antisocial behaviour and also an upsurge in drug use. Quite common for people to be dealing in drugs in the main parts of the town even where the meeting took place. Uh, people getting getting off buses with, with, with drugs and giving them to these runners, or whatever they call them, who off, then go off and supply others, and even try to supply people from schools and to get them addicted. So there's a terrible drug problem. And um, also uh, this problem uh, results, has resulted in this country uh, last year, the year before, of over 800 deaths. You might say down nearly three a week from drug abuse, aside from the business of leading to largely for, for, for money for drugs. So that's the situation. It's out of control and as far as uh, the speakers were concerned and Neil Tobin of A2 was concerned, uh, the, the, the government and the people in charge are doing nothing about it and they now are demanding and going to make it an issue uh, that they need these services. Uh, they fought for the retention of the hospital in Navan which is now is, re is retained and there was an effort to close it. It's provided much needed service not just for Mead but for many other parts of, of the north, north, north west and the north east. So, uh, the policies pursued by this government uh, that promise so much and deliver so much, uh, so little, with, with, with three ministers in the constituency, and what are they doing? You have English, uh, Fine Gael, uh, you have uh, Doherty, and you have McEntee, two ladies. So, like, they'd want to get their finger out and listen to what's required and stop spending their time 
uh, introducing the voice of policies as they have done, deal with the issues as affect people in their homes. Now, um, so they're going to be much more active about this. Uh, I spoke to people afterwards um, during the course of the meeting. I also spoke to Padder Tobin and I spoke to his sister Eamor who's a Mead County Councillor now. She spoke very eloquently. She actually was the first speaker and the uh, housewife, young housewife was the second and she, she was very good and very articulate. So there was a good crowd at the meeting and a lot of people signed uh, petitions for these matters to be dealt with and dealt with urgency. First of all, that this government and these ministers from the constituency stop this transfer of the divisional headquarters from Navan and increase the uh, police presence in the town and in the county uh, because there are some parts of the county that have actually no police service. And it was also highlighted uh, that with this government, they've closed 139 or something police stations and in some places there's no police presence whatsoever. Now this is such a terrible, insane policy to have adopted. Uh, the upsurge of crime has been reported now by the CSO, which uh, Patrick Tobin referred to. There's an increase in all sectors of the crime, including sexual assaults, uh, burglaries, um, and various other issues, all increased. We've noticed that there was all this robberies of cash machines from, from, uh, from, from, from banks. Uh, from walls, including in Kells, where there was two, where there was two uh, 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 safes, uh, cash machines taken from the walls. And another thing that we didn't know is that uh, the ATM uh, uh, people that operate those machines uh, encouraged uh, the the production of some kind of different type of money that would. Um, that they could put more into the cash machines. And so with the result, now where there was a maximum of 10,000, now I believe it's 20,000. So it's an incentive for rappers. Mm -hmm. So there you are. So uh, I can only say that John Malone and the Christian and Jobs, uh, Jobs Action Party uh, supports uh, the policies that Padre Tobin and the A2 party uh, uh, highlighted at the meeting yesterday. Saturday. Very good. Thanks very much, John. Thanks very much, Oliver.